So, you want to charge and use your iPod in your car, but you don't want to use an FM transmitter because the audio is not so good, you don't have a cassette deck so you can't use an adapter, and for you iPhone freaks out there, you need something that can give you hands-free access so that you don't get pulled over. We've got the Kensington Liquid Ox on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Hey, and welcome back to Gadget at TechStop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Vallisere of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now let's get right to the tech. For those of you with iPods or iPhones, you know that it can be a little bit of an adventure to get your device running in your car. Now, if you have one of the newer cars that has a built-in dock, fantastic, you're ready to go. But if not, there are a couple of technologies that you can use to try to get your tunes, your sound from your media player into your car stereo. The first would be a standard FM transmitter. Now, you've seen these little units. They, they plug into the cigarette adapter, and some of them allow you to charge your iPod at the same time that you transmit signal over uh, an FM radio station, you know, 88.9 or whatever it might be. Now, that kind of works. The problem is that you're always going to get a little bit of extra noise, and depending on the area that you live in, you're kind of at the mercy of your local radio stations. If there are radio stations parked in all the frequencies that your FM transmitter is designed to use, you're out of luck. Now, you can also use one of those cassette adapters, those little uh, units that allow you to plug it into a cassette deck and have a little 3.5 millimeter plug plugged back into your iPod. The, the problem with that is that not many cars come with cassette decks anymore, and even the ones that do, you can often find that uh, the, the little tape adapter can be a little bit loud, and sometimes it adds a little bit of noise because th there's actually a little bit of a gap between the two heads. Now, for those who have the newer, 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 newer cars, you might find that you have an AUX port, the AUX auxiliary port that allows you to plug in, well, any sort of adapter, any sort of media player, any sort of device, and then pump that audio through your stereo. Those are the cars that the Kensington Liquid Ox is designed to work with. Now, this is a, a, a kind of a cool device. You see, it looks like an FM transmitter. It does have that little part that plugs into the cigarette adapter, and it does have a little cable that allows you to charge your iPod or your iPhone but where it differs is that it's not transmitting audio over an FM frequency. It's using a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable to plug your unit directly into your stereo, into your car unit or your head unit. And to top it off, it comes with a little remote that straps to the side of your steering wheel that not only gives you control over your iPod, but if you have an iPhone, lets you answer calls without having to pick up the unit. Now, we've had a couple of weeks to play with this and... Uh, well, this is what we found. The Kensington Liquid Aux for iPhone and iPod Model 33429 is a car accessory designed to charge and connect Apple's popular media and communication devices to your vehicle stereo system. Like most iAccessories, the Liquid Aux will charge your iPod or iPhone and access your music through a standard iPod dock connector. Out of the box, the Liquid Aux package includes the adapter with dock connector, a 3.5mm extension cable, and a four-position remote control. The Liquid Aux has several standout features, starting with a built-in microphone in the adapter that expands the speakerphone of your iPhone into the cabin of your car. A second standout feature is the remote control. This little device straps onto your steering wheel and allows you to control your iPod or iPhone without having to take your hands off the wheel or eyes off the road. The most important feature of the Liquid Aux is the one that is the namesake of the device, the auxiliary cable. Kensington's Liquid Aux is different from most iPod Charge and Connect devices because rather than sending audio through an FM transmitter, it uses a 3.5mm plug to link your iPod or iPhone directly to your stereo via an auxiliary port. The advantage of using the auxiliary port on your stereo rather than a Charge and Connect device that uses an FM transmitter is fourfold. First, if the frequencies that your FM transmitter uses are not free of broadcast, you can't use your adapter. Secondly, 
if your car is not properly wired and grounded, a problem that we encountered with some customized stereo setups, your FM transmitter will probably not be heard even on an open frequency. Additionally, using an FM transmitter means that you will be picking up interference, pops, distortions, and other unwanted audio artifacts, things that are almost completely eliminated by directly connecting your stereo to the adapter. Finally, the speakerphone function of the Liquidox would be impractical in an FM transmitting unit. After all, who wants their conversations being broadcast to the car next to you at the light? The Liquidox is compatible with just about every iDevice equipped with a dock connector. That includes the iPod Classic, first through fourth generation nanos, the iPod Touch, and both the original iPhone and the 3G. Using the Liquidox is quite easy, assuming that you have a 12 volt cigarette adapter and an auxiliary audio input. You plug the Liquidox into the power port and connect the 3.5mm auxiliary cable to your stereo's aux in. In this very messy Toyota Prius, the 12 volt accessory socket is right next to the auxiliary port, but should your setup require a longer cable, Kensington has thoughtfully included an extension. Plugging in the liquid aux will give you an orange status light to let you know that the device is in operation. You then simply dock your iPod or iPhone and you're ready to use the liquid aux. To use the remote control, you install the battery and strap the device onto your steering wheel using the Velcro strip. Immediately you'll be able to control, play, pause, stop, forward and back. You can also answer calls on your iPhone, all without having to reach for your device. Audio quality was excellent, not surprising since the Liquid Aux is more or less a direct connection from your iDevice to your stereo, and the remote control worked flawlessly. It kept our devices charged, gave us an easy way to listen to our music, and made controlling our devices a trivial matter. The Kensington Liquid Aux for iPhone and iPod is available now. It's covered by a limited two-year warranty, and prices online range from $65 to $80. So off the bat, let me say that this is not for everybody. I mean, if you don't have an iPod, if you don't have an iPhone, or if you don't have a car that has a stereo unit with an auxiliary port, well, it's not going to do you much good. But if you have those things, it's actually a pretty cool little unit, especially when you consider that the prices are down 60 to 80 bucks. It, it means that uh, for just a little bit more than a standard FM transmitter, you get a unit that can not only charge your iPod, that can not only connect it via the auxiliary port and therefore give you that much more superior audio, but will also give you a nice little steering wheel mounted remote control that keeps your hands on the wheels where they should be when you're driving. Now, you know, it's, it's not just for those people who like tunes. It's for those people who want a hands-free kit. And the fact that it could also provide you with your music library in your car is uh, just sort of an added bonus. Now, Kensington has done a really good job in manufacturing this unit. I mean, even though I don't use iPods myself, I, I might actually consider getting a unit just so that I could use it with the Liquid Ox. Now, if you've been looking for a nice solution to dock your stereo with your iPod and you don't want to get a dedicated head unit, you don't want to install a brand new stereo, and you, you don't want to have to worry about mussing and fussing with cables that are running up and down and reaching down and playing with the controls on your iPod or your iPhone, well, this just might be the trick. If you want to find out more about the Liquid Ox, you can always read our full review by going to www.thetechstop.net. While you're there, why don't you go ahead and register and, and find all the links for our episodes in high resolution. If you want to send us an email message, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.